So if you're anything like me, you're very, very excited about the new uh, images coming from space from the uh, Webb telescope. My um, uh, daughter and, and, and wife were asking questions about it since they know I know something about optics. And their question was very simple. Um, is the images that we're seeing, would it look like that if you went into space and you just looked at the thing instead of having a telescope? You just went close enough to where you could see it too. Would it look like what the pictures are looking like? And the short answer is no, nothing at all like that. Um, so let me kind of give you an idea of how these images are generated. They might be different than what you think. So let's start out with a simple idea of a camera. Uh, you're going to be taking a picture of something and there's a lens and then there's a sensor. It can be film or it can be a CCD or CMOS imager or whatever. And, um, these cameras they send up into the web telescope are very fancy. Uh, but let's get it. Let's get the ideas out about digital photography. Okay. So, Instead of film, a digital camera uses pixels, and these pixels have color filters on them. So some pixels are sensitive to blue light, some sensitive to green, and some sensitive to red. And you get a mosaic of colors, and when you take the picture, you have all the different colors, and then you put them together and make up an image. And so just like a human has red, green, and blue sensors in the retina, cameras have red, green, and blue sensors in the imager. And um, they have spectral responses. So we capture a portion of the spectrum that's blue, a capture a portion that's green, and a portion that's, that's red. And so the blues are somewhere between four and 500 nanometers. The greens are between 500 and 600 nanometers. And the reds go up to 700 nanometers. And then you hear something called infrared. Well, infrared is anything, say, above... Um, 900 nanometers. That's infrared. You you can't see that. It's it, it it some animals can see it, but humans can't see it. It's 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 up there. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at an image that came from the telescope. Um, here's a beautiful image of kind of a star creation, a star factory, and uh, you say, "Wow! If I went up there, would it look like that?" Um, what what is this camera that they're using? Well, a hint is uh, some of the other images like this one. If you look at the very very bottom section there, um, there are some numbers, and they're they're colored. There's a red one, an orange one, a yellow one. They're they're they're, they're colored, and it basically tells you how this image was taken. Um, now remember, I told you that the um, Normal camera imager has red, green, and blue filters. Well, um, this are the these are the filters that the near infrared the the web has many different cameras, but that particular picture was taken with the near infrared um, camera, and the near infrared camera has these filters to choose from. Okay, instead of each pixel having a filter on top of it, what they do, if you had a normal camera, you could put a red filter on it, take a picture, screw a, a green filter on it, take a picture, and then screw a blue filter on it, take a picture. You would have three pictures of different wavelengths, and you could take those three pictures and add them together to make a color image. Well, they do that here. They choose different filters, and they take separate images with these different filters, and then they put them together to make an image. Well, they're taking pictures in the infrared that you can't see, and then they're gonna apply colors to certain of them, and they're gonna make an image with those pigments that they've chosen. So the picture that we were looking at was actually taken with multiple filters, not just three filters like red, green, blue. It actually used six different filters. It used the filters F90W, F90W is uh, shown here on the second um, second row in purple, um, and that is sensitive to about mm, 700 nanometers. So that's really we can see that humans can see that one. All right, it uses 187N, which is a narrow filter. Um, and that's at the very, very bottom, 187N. That's uh, for a specific molecule they're looking for. It uses F200W. That's in the second row again. That one's sensitive to around 1.9 microns. And now we're in microns. Instead of nanometers, we're in microns, okay? So we've shifted up a whole decade. And then it uses the F470N filter, another narrow one. 
Then it uses the F335 medium. That's in the third row, 335 medium. And that's kind of a, a green. And then um, an F444W, okay? And so uh, that's the longest one. That's going to be around 4.5 microns, okay? Now, if we look at the, uh, at the ledger, uh, they're going to take that F90 and they're going to make it blue. They're going to take the F187, they're going to make that cyan. The F200, they're going to make green. The F470, they're going to make yellow. The F335, they're going to make orange. And the F44W, they're going to make red. So they're going to take those six images, which are black and white images. They're going to colorize them so each one has its own color. And then they're going to put them all together to make up this color image. And that's the way it's done. Okay. Now... Different instruments have different sensitivities. So we can look at another image, uh, one of my favorites. Um, this is uh, an image that was taken with the medium infrared camera. So this one uses three filters, the F770, the F1000, and the F1500. So let's take a look at those filters. And you can see them here. So we're looking at really, really long wavelengths. So these are heat. These are no longer light, really. These are heat. Um, and 770 is basically 7.7 .7 microns. Uh, 1000 is basically 10 microns. And 1500 is 15 microns. And they applied red to the 1500 they applied green to the 1000 and they applied blue to the 770. So you can see that not only are they using different filters every single time, but they're applying even different colors every time to each image to make it look nice. Um, so they do end up being pretty pictures and it does give the scientists lots of information, but yeah, don't expect to be flying up there anytime soon and, and see these things in person. Mm -hmm.